Welcome to another edition of Unboxing Time. I'm your host, Mary Jane. And today I am back and reviewing more modules, third party modules for the red hydrogen. Okay, there's a question was proposed on how does the uh, magnetic filter ring attach to the lenses? Well, it's threaded. You know, here it's 37 millimeter threads. So, but yeah, when I my other one, I I forgot to do the uh, overlay of the invoice, and this this um, filter ring is magnetic. This is the 3D printed one, and it was thirty dollars from Vantage Point Video, and it was like um. They had a discount at the time, so I got like 24% off, and it was like $7.50 for the discount. So, yeah, it was like $30, so, and then $4 for flat rate shipping, so it came out to $26.50. Yeah, they were out of the, the the aluminum machine ones, which I really wanted, but they were out. So, I went with the 3D printed one, and the 3D printed ones, I like it. But, yeah, so how do you attach it? It just, you know... Magnets attaches to this like that. That's how that attaches. Then if you just want to don't want to use lenses, but you want to put like a filter on there, you just get a 37 millimeter filter and put it on there. Now I have a B script Pro 0.43x wide angle with a 37 millimeter macro. So to put this on, you have to first attach the filter ring so it just threads on like that and then you just take it like that now when you're when you are there you go see if that gives you some views oh let me pull the cap off so there. Now you don't want to do any sudden movements because this thing will fall off if you you know. So you don't want to do that. Oh, and then the lens comes with this nice little vinyl bag, and then the filter ring comes with this. So yeah. But I think you know once you attach it, you can just put it in. See if it goes in. Just, of course, then you're you're exposing your lens, your macro lens, because there's no cap on the bottom. But if you can get a cap that would fit around the bottom of it, that would be awesome too. So, okay, there's that. So that's what it is. Um, I tested out a dongle. I got this like a six dollar dongle off of eBay. Junk doesn't work don't even bother now there was one other thing I wanted to talk about the um, storage solution if you're in the field I bought this enclosure off of Amazon it was like 10 bucks and then I bought these adapters this is USB-C to your regular USB adapter and I just had this Digistore 240 gig hard, you know, solid state drive laying around for my Blackmagic cinema camera. And it has a 6 gigabyte transfer rate in a second. SATA, SATA 3. So, yeah. And you just, you know, put it in there like this. And I've tested it out and it does work. And then you take that and you plug it in. Now, see how the blue light lights up? It is actually working. And then, let me, let me bring up the file, file manager. I can find it. There it is. All right. 
so I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not. The videos. Actually, let's go to. No, oh, that's not it. Not it. Not it. Found it. All right, so hit on folders. Shit. Put a folder. Internal storage. And you just kind of like look for it. For crying out where? Where the fuck is it? Alright, this one's just labeled USB J Micron USB Drive, which is, I think that's the name of the manufacturer. Alright, oh, it just disappeared on me. Make sure you got a good connection. Got to reload. There it is. Okay. Open with Red Player. Just do it once. So you can, you know, there, don't do that. So this is a cheap slurry solution of using existing stuff laying around. I just, you know, ten dollars for the enclosure, and then I think it was like seven bucks for a bag of different adapters for USB Cs. So yeah, and you yeah, and you can, you know, record it and then transfer it and all that shit. Which I should probably do an in-depth video on that down the road and show you how to you know but yeah this one I just wanted to show you you know the different stuff that's you know that's now being made available for the red hydrogen one you know oh and I got the you know this grip frame which is awesome so but yeah the answer to the question is how it just threads on it's 37 millimeter and then and, the, and I had to look it up this size if you want to go just you know with a this lens. This is a 49 millimeter lens. If so if you just want to buy a 49 millimeter filter, just screw on this. You can't. And I wish I did. I got one. I, oops, touched it. I got one coming. And also, don't forget to get the uh, thingy for. to clean your lenses. You just clean it like that.
This is very important to have. So that's all it's to it, and you just unscrew it. Put that on there like that. That's taken care of, and then you know, or you know, if you just just want to go with just put on a rough, just a filter. This is a 37 millimeter, so get a 37 millimeter, screw it down, thread it down. So yeah. There you go. So So there you have it. You got, you know, more modules coming out. And uh this little cheap one that for eBay for it was like 5 or 7 bucks does not work. It doesn't work with the Pixel 3 and it does not work with the uh, red hydrogen. So yeah, for because I wanted to, it's got a 3.5 millimeter, and I was gonna try using the uh, headphone through it, and a, and the uh, microphone, an external microphone, and neither one worked. So this one's you know, it's, it's garbage. So yeah, that's it. And have a good day. Mary Jane out. Oh, and uh, click the subscribe button and don't forget to share it with your friends and hit the bell for update videos. So thanks. Have a nice day.